In this video, I'm going to talk about get past time and get future time function within Microsoft Power Automate. Now, before we even understand that function, let's start looking into some of the time function within Power Automate to give a context to the past and future time. Now, I'm in Microsoft Power Automate and I have a trigger, which is a manually triggering a flow, which has no input in it. And I have a compose box. Now I'll add an action over here, which will just terminate this flow after this action. Because I don't want to execute the scope action after this and I'll just mark this as succeeded. Okay, so this is my flow. Now in the compose action, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a simple function I'll go to the FX and I'll just type in UTC now. And I'll click on save. Let me click on save. And I'll run this function. So this is a simple compose action which will render the current date and time in UTC format. Now, as you see over here, the UTC format date is 21st of the 3rd, 2024 and 6-4 time in the morning. Now, I'll just edit this one more time just to put that in a nice representational format. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll just Take this off just show you how to write the formatting function so i'll just say format date time opening and closing bracket and then the utc now function okay so and then the parameter which i'm going to give is a long uh, date time format so it's a capital g okay that's it simple save it save test run the flow. Now, we have just formatted it. It's just the UTC date and time, but in a nice format. So as you see over here, it's an MMDDYYY format. Uh, and it is uh, showing you the time properly 6, 5 a.m. Okay. Now, let's talk about getting the past and the future time. So I'll add in another compose action over here. So here in this compose action, I'm going to take the value. So basically an expression here and I'll say get future time. So when I say get future time, what, what is that time? So you need to specify the interval and you need to specify the format. Now the interval which I'll just I'll just cancel this off and I'll show you in the scope like say if the interval is day then how do you write this okay so here as you see over here get feature time one comma day and then the format date time okay now let me copy this and we will use this over here Okay. So if you see this expression, what we have done, we are formatting the date time, which we all know that if we take this, get this time, this is basically a UTC time and G is the long date format. Now, what we are telling, give us a future time of one day ahead. Okay. Or maybe I can put this number as say seven days ahead. Okay. It's future time. Now, today is 21st then ideally after seven days it should be 28th so i'll just save this save it test this and when i run this the first compose action which is that utc date time 21st of the third 
the second one is the future seven days ahead so future seven days ahead will give you 28th of the third right so this is how you basically get the future date now you can get future month year time uh, hour minute second everything you can get but we will explore that uh, functionality soon but just to show you uh, this compose action i'll just mark it as uh, UTC. So I'll maybe just I'll properly see time, and this is future day. Okay. Now I'll add another step. Add an action. Another compose action. And here I will just write down the function. Again, we can use that same format, format date time. Okay. And within that here, we will put the date time. But here we are, what we want is get instead of future time, I will want a past time. Now I want a past time of maybe what is the interval? Interval is I want to see what was there maybe 10 days back. Okay. 10 days behind and then day. I'll take the same example of day. Save this and I'll just say past day. Okay. Save this and click on test. Run the flow. So the first block is a UTC time which is 21st of the third, which is okay. Second, future day, which is seven days after, that is 28th of the third. Now the past day should be around 11 days, 11th of the March. As you see over, it is 11th of the March because what we have requested for the past day is like, give us a date which is 10 days uh, before today. So that is 11th of the third. So this is how you basically get the past day and the future day okay now coming back to the example over here for the future day what are the other things we can put okay we know we can put numbers over here but what instead of day what all things we can put so here just to give you an example i will just remove this terminate option i'll delete this and i'll open the scope option just to show you the first one which is a day okay so we'll take an example of format date time get future time one day okay so this is one day ahead the day we have already seen let's look into the month part so for month you just put m o n t h that's it so this will give you future of one month so that means today is 21st of the third the output would be 21st of the fourth for a week here you will see get future time one comma week so that is after one week so that the keyword is week okay then we have a year again the simple thing get future time one comma year now remember you can use that for get future time as well as for the past time so i'm just explaining you the future time but same thing applies for the past time as well so for year you put the year keyword scroll down you get r now for r you can if you want to see what is one hour after now okay now this is not the time now this time is for me utc plus 10 but this time uh, for this function it will execute the utc time now utc time is around 6 12 in the morning so if you say one hour after that it would be 7 a.m in the morning cancel this go to the minute Minute is also similar, just put a minute keyword. Then for second, you just put a second keyword. Okay. And this function is basically just simple UTC now. Right. Okay. So we are good with this. What we can do, we can give a fresh run for this flow. We have removed the terminate option. And now we will be able to see all the different format. So just to test.
and this is run completely now just to make sure that this is 21st of the third 6 13 a.m in the morning now if you see over here for day one day ahead will be 22nd so that is 22nd one month ahead will be 21st of the fourth 21st of the fourth one week ahead as you see over here it is 28th because after 21 you add seven days so that will be 28th of the third for year it would be 21 3 2025 for hour it would be 7 am and for minute it would be 14 minute and for second it will be 6 second so that's 14 minute and second would be 6 second so this is how you basically use the get past time and get feature time function within microsoft power automate it will help you do that date time calculation if you want to calculate ahead of the time or behind uh, the current date time uh, for various calculation in your application that's it folks thanks for watching